Greetings, interns. We here at Neverwinter HQ are always looking for new opportunities to bring unique stories to our players, often drawing upon experiences in tabletop D&D. Now, as a DM myself, I've spent countless hours setting a perfectly planned campaign for my players, only to have everything fly completely off the rails once the game starts. This is exactly what Neverwinter's Heart of Fire module is all about. Now, we've touched on the theme of silly and absurd before with our Day of the Dungeon Master and our Respins game events. But this time, we decided to get the pros involved. That's where we turn to Acquisitions Incorporated, aka Penny Arcade, aka Jerry Holkins, Mike Krahulik, and Amy Falcone, aka Omen Drawn, Jim Dark Magic, and Walnut Dungrass. Now, once all the contract stuff was signed, myself and our content lead and lore master, Randy Mosens, spent two full days with Jerry and Mike brainstorming, all the while being supported and wrangled by their awesome producer. Hi, Alyssa. We had the basic concept of AI to come to Protector's Enclave and set up shop, but what were they looking to acquire? Well, new team members and interns, for starters. That low prices are really hard to come by and easy to find in Protector's Enclave. But then we needed some far-off treasure. On the Neverwinter side, we wanted to create a campaign that both immersed our newer adventurers in the world and ensured that our in-game players would face their own challenges. Now, since the launch of Neverwinter, I've been wanting to get the Moloch statue from the 1988 Advanced D&D Player's Handbook into the game. You know, that, that one with the demon statue, and there's dead lizard men everywhere, and that adventurer up on top prying the ginormous stone out of the eye. Well, that statue became the crown jewel of the campaign. In addition to that prime D&D real estate, we scouted existing locations throughout Faerun, identifying places where we can add an Acquisition Inc. spin to it and make things truly fun for players across many levels. Now, the Heart of Fire is not just the Acquisitions Incorporated campaign, we've also added some really cool new stuff, as well as continued polish and refreshing of others. In particular, we reworked the profession system. The professions overhaul is a ground-up redesign of the profession system, including entirely new recipes, over 200 unique artisans to hire, big changes on how the recipes themselves are completed, and a personal workshop is your new in-world base of operations for all things professions. On top of that, we've got a new bank heist, the skirmish with Jim Dark Magic helping. It's a tie-in with Acquisitions Inc. and the whole Waterdeep campaign. Now, we're really excited to finally have the Heart of Fire out to you all, and we hope that you're gonna have as much fun playing through this module as we did making it. I also wanna give a big special thanks to Jerry and Mike over at Acquisitions Incorporated, as well as Alyssa, and Amy, and just everybody else that helped support us to make the Neverwinter dreams a reality. And as always, interns, don't forget to roll for initiative.